Okay, hi guys. Now, as you can see on my timeline here on Facebook, I got a, I got a kind of a, an image ad. And uh, what I've done is I've created um, complete templates where you can just spend a few seconds point and clicking and replacing out your screenshots. And they immediately uh, replace these images with their kind of aspect ratio and their tilt and zoom and everything. And you can edit the, uh, the text. And the whole template here will be del uh, will be edited literally within seconds. And I'm going to be bringing out a lot of templates like this. There's a very powerful free editor online that it, I've created the source files for these um, for these uh, for this template. And uh, you can just drag and drop it into the editor, which is online anyway. You don't have to create an account; it's free. You don't even create an account with this online editor. You just drag and drop the source file in there that I've created for you and then drag and drop your images into the places where the place holds and they automatically just fall into place. It's, uh, it, it really is a powerful thing. Um, so before I continue, first of all, guys, my name is Edward Keat and I'm gonna be bringing out a lot of uh, training like this. Uh, and I wanna just do a little plug for my own business here. So guys, please get on the link below. I'm promoting Valentus. Uh, Valentus is a company that I'm very passionate about. I'm, it's a personal journey. And uh, I would appreciate if you just check that out. I'm going to be working with the team very closely, creating images like this, creating templates and uh, marketing funnels and so on. So uh, please check out Valentus. It's uh, very important for me to, uh, you know, in order to be motivated to keep these training videos going, uh, we'd appreciate you uh, checking that out. Anyway, so let's continue. So here we are on the... Um, free editor. Just go to photop.com. You don't have to log in. You don't have to create an account. It just go to this URL. I put it, put the URL below, but it's, it's photop and you'll see exactly the same screen as this. Okay. It's, uh, don't be overwhelmed with the controls. I'm not even going to, um, teach you any of these controls cause you don't need them. We're going to use a few simple point and click, um, strokes with your mouse and you're going to be done in seconds. All right. So let's continue. First of all, you need my, my file. I'll put the file that you can download in a zip file in the description below this video. Okay, this whole video is just free value, guys. Um, just I really appreciate you being a part of my channel, and uh, please give me a like. Uh, so anyway, first of all, you just open up the source file. Okay, let me grab it and uh, drag and drop that into into there. Okay, so here it is it's loaded. Okay, and. Um, what you've got here is you've got a, a, basically an image, but it's it's a kind of a source file, all right? And uh, all these elements here are layered. You don't have to worry about these individual layers. You don't even have to click inside this uh, canvas area at all. Uh, the area you're going to be working with are the layers here, and you're going to be double clicking on some of these elements, all right? You don't need um, you you can you can change the text if you want. You can just double click on the text and then change it to your heart's content. For example, you know, check out my results. Okay, so you can change anything to your heart's content, and it and it. Okay, I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm just doing random text here, guys. After you've edited a layer, uh, just click the checkbox, okay, to say that you're happy with it. Uh, now, what you need to do now is, in order to change these images, these three graphics here, uh, all you have to do is to where it says um, screenshot one, screenshot two, screenshot three. Okay, so when you select it on on the left on the right hand side here, okay, notice it, it highlights here. You don't want to you don't want to click on, on here. You won't be able to because we've got layers uh, covering everything. So don't worry about it. Just deal with it in this panel here. So first of all, let's start with screenshot one. Double click it right here. Double click on the uh, thumbnail. Okay, so what you have here is you have the original um, uh, image here. So all you have to do is to either drag from your desktop, drag in a, um, a screenshot of any kind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to another uh, web page. I'm going to grab a screenshot from the web page. So if if you just, you know, if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac, it doesn't matter. Just use whatever tools you can to get a screenshot. Okay, I've just saved it to clipboard. And um, I go back to my editor. 
and I just paste that in over the top there. Okay, I'm gonna just change, I'm gonna make sure it all fits. Just make sure it all kind of uh, fits in to the edges. It, 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 all, it has a snap to grid as well, so it's very easy. You can snap it to the guides, to the edges, and, and after you've made it, uh, filled the area, you just click the checkbox, okay? So this layer will be saved. Now, you, you need to save this, this particular layer, okay? Uh, smart, save Smart Object, okay, or Command S, and then that layer will be saved. You can just close that layer now. Okay, and, there, and there's that um, page done. All right, the next thing you need to do is you need to go onto here, uh, click on the thumbnail, and uh, pick another page. I'm just going to grab this page. Again, I'm just going to take a screenshot of the page. In your case, if, you, you know, if you've got screenshots on your desktop, you can just drag them straight in. You don't have to figure out how to upload it or anything like that. You just drag it straight in um, from your desktop. Just drag and drop. Okay. <clears throat> my my computer screen. I'm using the laptop, so my computer screen is quite quite small. <laughs> it's tiny, actually. It's a, kind of annoying. Okay, and then I'm going to save that layer. Okay, notice it just tells you it's been updated and then you close it down and there it is. And, and I'm not going to do the, the, the last one because you can understand what I'm doing, but you just click on the last one, the thumbnail, and then you can replace that with, a, you know, with your layer. Um, so I've changed the text, um, I've changed the, the screenshots. Now the layer that's over the top here is kind of a, kind of a layer, if, you, if you'd rather not have it, if you'd rather take it out, you can just delete it, it's up to you. or you can just uh, this is the layer here, the overlay, um, and you can just you can just hide it with the using the eye if you'd rather not have it. Okay, so it's up to you. And um, let me just show you what you've got in the back here. So, so underneath these these uh, layers, you've got a kind of a white uh, background. All right. So you can keep that in there because it makes the images in front of it stand out better. So what the reason why I've done that, this this particular layer, as you see, the white shine. Okay, the reason why I've put that in there is because you know you can put in any background you like, um, simply replace it, and um, and 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 it will and it will look nice with any background. So let me just show you um, for some backgrounds. So I'm just going to pick a background. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this background here, and I'm going to put it into where I want it layered. Okay, so I'm going to, for now I'm going to put it below, right at the bottom. See where the guide is? Put it right at the bottom there. It's just loading. Now you can't see it because the the layer is above it. So what you do is you can just click the eye, and it takes that layer out. Okay. Now if you want to just play around with things, you can take out that uh, part there. It's up to you. I rearrange the images. It's up to you. Um, or if you don't want that, you want to do it like that, or whatever, it's up to you. Now let's say if you had it like that, for example, but you feel that, you know, you want to just, you want to sort of change the um, transparency of the background so that the foreground look, uh, stands out better. So select the, select the layer, okay, so it's selected, go to layer at the top here, and then um, Go to layer style, click the blend option, blending options. And then what you've got here is you've got a panel where it says opacity. You can change the opacity. Okay. Don't worry about the square boxes. These are just guys to show you where the transparency exists. But when you save it, those those blocks, those kind of square sort of checked grids at the back there won't won't exist. It's kind of standard with uh, you know with image editors. Um, so if you want, you, you know, if you like the, 
if you like the look of that, you can just export it either as a P PNG or a JPEG. It'll allow you to preview it. Okay, and then save it. Okay, I'm just going to. Still hasn't downloaded. Okay, there it is. So that, that's what that looks like. Um, that's simply because I've taken out the the white shine. But if you if you want to keep that in there, that's up to you. You can you you know you can. The great thing about this guys is is you can um, layer everything up and you can hide stuff. So you could have loads of backgrounds in there and just you know whenever you need keep it as a template. Um, but whenever you need stuff, you can um, you can change it very very quickly. All right. Um, and you know you can obviously change the back uh, the text as well, so you know play around with it. If you want to change the color of the text, you can go to layers. Most of most of the things that you change with regards to colors and styles will be in the layer area, and then layer style, and then you can just use any of the options here. But they're all they're they're all within the same um, panel. Okay, so if you click on the main panel, uh, you can see what I've used um, these elements. I've used stroke. Okay, if so you take it out, you can see the changes. Okay, that's what that does. If you go, if you if you highlight that area, you can change the color of the uh, the stroke itself. I've, I've, I'm using a gradient here. If you click on that, you can change the gradient colors. Uh, they've got some presets, but uh, I don't generally like those presets. But you can make your own. Um, and also, I've got drop shadow, so you know you can see the difference with with or without. Now, if you if you don't want to make your changes saved, don't click OK. Or if you want the changes saved, click OK. Or you can just click the the, the box there, and and you're done. Um, so yeah, it's all editable. Okay. Now, the very minimum, all you'd need to do really with this and um, is probably just keep the background as generic enough. But all you need to worry about is changing the text and changing these um, elements here. Okay. That's it. And uh, you'd be done. So you you could get this image done and personalize it within within literally seconds. I mean, you know, you don't necessarily need to change backgrounds. You don't necessarily need to change the styling or anything like that. So really, the purpose of this video was really to show you how you could change these different um, graphics you're seeing here. Okay. Um, yeah, these you know one, two, three how to change those and also change the text. So literally you could be done in no time at all and you can just save it. It's very, very easy. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the uh, tutorial. Um, I'll be doing a lot of different tutorials and uh, giving out lots of templates where you can just drag and drop and make your own template, make your own versions. Um, so, you know, like I say, please check out my businesses below. Um, it's particularly Valentus. I'm, I'm on a I'm on a particular, you know, challenge and I'm really working hard with it and I'm excited. So uh, check out my business below. Thanks for watching and see you on the uh, next training. Bye for now.